In North Korea, we saw lackluster results coming out of a meeting this past weekend that was supposed to be the first top-level meet level meeting after the Trump Kim summit. North Korea fired back with harsh rhetoric against the U.S. stance and actually was a no-show at a planned meeting later in the week. However, things are relatively on track. North Korea is simply pushing for the U.S. to give more concessions in line with what the North Koreans have already given. Look for the meeting coming up this weekend on POW MIA returns and see whether the U.S. has actually upgraded that to a higher military level as North Korea has requested. U.S. President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin will hold their first bilateral summit early next week in Helsinki. Key topics of discussion will be sanctions and counter-sanctions, as well as arms control, Ukraine, and Syria. Coming on the heels of the NATO summit and the EU-Ukraine summit, this will be a key gauge in the broader standoff between Russia and the West. Next week, Chinese President Xi Jinping will visit the United Arab Emirates as part of a broader trip that will also take him to Sub-Saharan Africa. This past week, Xi unveiled a multi-billion dollar loan, aid, and investment package for the broader Middle East that will be a large part of China's broader Belt and Road Initiative. Xi's visit to the UAE will highlight China's expanding economic footprint in the region.